Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10, 14 days. For today's second video, day 10 will take us to 26th of April and we'll be able to set up beyond that with the Essential Affairs. You should have ensembles, maybe on trying to look at weeks. Have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Uh, gets us in towards the middle of May. I shall get on with it for you in a moment. Just to say you back first. A video says our 6 UK weather forecast. I'm going to have a little announcement video for the future of Gap. As well, it's coming up at around 7 8 ish this evening. So, a uh, whole fire, and uh, I'll let everybody know what's happening with Gas Weather Vids and the future of Gas Weather Vids um, this evening. Doo -doo -doo. So, uh, more about that a little bit later on. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe on all today's videos and content. Thanks so much, everyone, uh, for doing that for Gavs or Weather Vids. Okay, let's start off with the latest group of that from EarthNoSchool.net. Showing that we're under a trough of low pressure across the country uh, right now, so the weather is pretty unsettled. Uh, there was some very heavy rain across the southwest last night, of course, wasn't there? Um, central temperature is currently sitting at 10.2, about 2.3 degrees above 61 to 90. 90 average is provisional to uh, yesterday, to the 15th of April. So, to the middle of the month, and uh, we're significantly above average, as we have been for the last few months, actually. Of course, our January was a bit colder, but uh, both February and particularly March came out as uh, very uh, mild months, and uh, that's continued in into April as well. Is this summer though? That's what uh, <laughs> that's what you've got to wonder, isn't it? Um, these are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles that come week. So look at Bristol today, break line. It's a 30-year upper air temperature average for Bristol. We're starting off around slightly below average at the moment. The upper air temperatures uh, will be starting to uh, pick up, though, as we move further on into uh, the weekend and uh, next week. Hovering quite close to slightly below average, not a particularly big deviation. The operational run, which is the thick green line here, that's all over the place. Lifting up, falling down, lifting up uh, once again. So, uh, mixed with temperatures, bit up and down, and I would say rather zonal. But it looks a lot uh, more unsettled still as well through the third week of April. So, um, particularly again over the Easter period, some pretty large precipitation spikes coming through there, and possibly even into May now, uh, looking a bit more unsettled. There has been a bit of a drying trend within the extended uh, GFS over the uh, past uh, over the past few days and whatnot, the past few updates. But uh, even that looks like it's closed. Uh, remember, we always say that like, this part of the graph is extended range and therefore unreliable. And so, you know, you can get um, uh, a switch in that part of the graph. Well, you, you can get a switch sometimes, you know, even in this bit, uh, which will be more reliable. But <laughs> it's happened before now, but we've seen uh, nailed on cold spells, for example, completely eradicated. Here. So, uh, anyway, uh, close to or slightly above average temperatures and unsettled temperature anomalies for the uh, next five days, 21st of April. Most areas average to slightly above precipitation. Um, I would say since 10 day temperature anomaly is also coming out uh, milder than average. 10 to 14 day is again average to slightly above average. And as our precipitation is concerned for the next seven days, which is average in the west of southwest, a little bit on the drier side in the north from the east for 10 for 10 day precipitation on a bit drier than average in the north and uh, a little bit on the uh, average to wetter than average side down the south and the 8 to 14 day precipitation again close to or slightly drier than uh, normal there. Okay, let's start going through the chart data. We have latest UK Met Euro run. It's looking midnight on Saturday. Low pressure to the south and to the southwest, throwing up uh, rain bands from the south and from the southwest. And as we go further through the uh, east period, again, we keep it unsettled. But by the middle of next week, the low pressure begins to drop away to the south and a ridge starts to push down from the north, turning drier. And be on the true side with those east winds. Icon, again, with uh, low pressure slipping away to the south over the east period. Another low comes in, or a trough comes in. But Easter Monday could bring a rather unsettled day then. As we head on in towards the middle of next week, heights begin to build up to the north and to the north. It's turning dry, but a little bit on the chilly side. And the KMA looks like that. So more unsettled with those areas of low pressure continuing into next week, actually. Uh, and it's, well, it even carries on into the extent, it doesn't it? So a bit of an attempt to build some higher pressure there. I thought that was going to start to break us out, be unsettled around the 24th, 25th of April. But actually, the low pressure's 
just to keep our current it stays and settled up to the 28th of April, right? Well, got me um, a GFS Midnight Run. Again, low pressure job to sell. More low pressure though out in the Atlantic as we move into the middle of next week. So it looks unsettled with the GFS right the way through uh, the course of uh, next week up to next Sunday. Well, a bit of a Scandinavian high. That's 27th of April, Scandinavian high, but still with those low pressures trying to come in from off the Atlantic. And the extended, uh, pretty uh, grim chart there, uh, high pressure building over grid for the time of year. High pressure building over grid, ice and low pressure drop down France. Uh, winds pulling in to that east to north east direction. So cool, maybe quite cold, and unsettled with both north and northeasterlies. I remember GFS6 then looks like that. Again, low pressure is coming in from off the Atlantic against some higher pressure to the uh, east. As we head on into the middle of next week, well, heights begin to build to the south, and low pressure uh, again comes in from the Atlantic. So there, again, there's an attempt to build some higher pressure there uh, around days 9 and 10, but uh, the low pressure in the Atlantic sort of overrides that. It is a mild of snow. If you haven't got northern blocking on this GFS 6, Seb, um, oh, uh, I mean, it's not it's not warm, but it's a mild of snow compared to those north northeasters. So still all sorts of bottle mayhem <laughs> going on with the GFS. Last night, it was really pumping up some um, uh, proper... proper um, uh, proper southerly winds. Actually, I can show you about. Let's quickly get the 18 set up from last night. And um, I think it would be about 2.40 or something like that. So this last night's pub run hasn't been achieved or <laughs> continued today. But notice ridge building there, 25th of uh, April. As we go to War 27, uh, low pressure out to the west. But check out the upper air temperature. They really pushed up. We've like 10 cells ice firm searching north. Almost got 15 cells ice firm into southern parts of uh, England. So uh, that w final weekend of April on the pub run. And yes, it's 12 said GFS. Uh, really warm. But then again, the, the midnight run since then hasn't followed back through. Just telling you that there's all sorts of mayhem going on within uh, the GFS operations and ensembles at the moment. If you enjoyed the video, please like share and subscribe thank you so much for doing that thank you uh, so much everyone and uh, drop a comment let us know what you think about this and all my videos and content don't forget to tell friends about guys so get to subscribe to and show you everyone for uh, doing that about 70 subscribers gets us 19.7k you could uh, if you could um, uh, think about giving a donation to guys as well that'd be absolutely awesome it's our paypal page uh, link is in the description it helps to pay for me to be able to do uh, the content. So uh, thank you so much to our PayPal donators, channel members, subscribers, you know, how you supported Gaz Love over all of these years. Um, you know, thank you, thank you so much. And uh, I'll have a lot more to say about that this evening. Right, GM, again, low pressure dropping away to itself on Saturday. Heights building to the north. High pressure building over and to the east country as we go through into uh, next week. And then we find high pressure out to the uh, west in the middle part of next week. Winds switching back into a colder north northeast. So wait for warm southerly that the GFS show. The GM has cold north northeast. He's at a GFS big type run. Model mayhem, everyone, for late April. And then we've got the ECM rounding it all off again. Uh, low pressure simulator of South Heights building over and to the east coast. And lower pressure edging in from off the Atlantic through the second half of next week. High pressure ridging through the country through uh, through today 10. So a little bit drier there. Probably quite chilly though. Winds in from a cool northeasterly direction. And in the more extended with the uh, ECM. Oops, in the more extended with the ECM we look like that. So the ridge gradually slipping southwards as uh, lower pressure begins to move in from off the Atlantic. And uh, we find by the end of April high pressure pulling out to the west. Bit of a cooler northwesterly flow and that's how we aimed up heights out to the north and the northwest low pressure over Denmark winds coming in from a chilly northerly direction for the first first of May this is the precipitation forecast based on the East Shemmer from Tibetia.com so rain clear away to the north showery rain down to southwest as we move into the east up here but actually not all that much in the way of rain over east there's some heavy showers there like Easter Monday into Tuesday next week but to be honest it's not a 
washed out of an inch the weekend as the models were flirting with a few days ago. We end up on a dry uh, note there by the 26th of April. That's day 10. Means I'll be options on the table within the East Jam on top of today for day 10. For the United States, Met Topics gets the 26th of April. 15 members of the East Jam on top with high pressure to the north at winds coming in. For more of a east or a northeasterly uh, direction. But mostly dry, but could be a bit chilly. That includes the charming operation. We've got 10 with high pressure around uh, um, Iceland, low pressure over France. Winds will be coming in from a cool east or east direction. We've got uh, number 10 with a ridge out in the Atlantic going up towards Greenland. The Trofo Scandinavia winds coming in from the northwest. We've got 8 with high pressure over and to the east of the country. And then we've got a further 8 with high pressure up to the north. So most of the options seem to be bring back high pressure actually around day 10 and then in two time these are the options that we've got gets the first of May 24 members of the east on ensembles with low pressure to the uh to the east high pressure out to the west mostly dry could be uh quite cool though with that when you're coming in from northwest showering in the east we've got 17 with uh high pressure in iceland and scotland winds coming in from the eastern direction and we've got 10 with high pressure to south and low pressure to the north and winter coming in from the westerly direction, mostly dry in the south, a little bit more unsettled up in the north. And then finally, we've got CFS, these are 500 millibar high tops, breaking down to week pairs. The first week pair takes from the 16th to 22nd of April. But next week, with high pressure over and to the east, low pressure down towards Spain, winds coming up from a southerly direction, not as unsettled as it uh, was indicated to be. But week two, not as unsettled, it's the 23rd to 29th of April, low pressure through the north and west of Europe. That Bring, that will bring unsettled conditions with it. Week 3 will be the 30th of April to the 6th of May. Um, not really clear what's going on there, but I suspect there will probably be a trough in reality through there. And then finally, week 4 will be the 7th to the 13th of May. High pressure up towards Green Iceland, low pressure over Germany. Winds coming in from a cool northeasterly direction. Oh, uh, we're also a little bit on the cool and showery side, I think, as we're moving through into uh, May. But the models including the CFS, have not covered themselves in glory <laughs> for, um, you know, uh, several weeks now. And uh, we see all sorts of po possibilities and, um, and uh, scenarios playing out here as we're moving into the last week or so of April. So um, lots to play for. I think, and let's see how it all uh, lands up. More runs needed. Right, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for sharing for doing that. Once drop a comment, let's know nothing about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about the hours, get to subscribe too. And thanks so much, everyone, uh, for doing that. You could give a donation, that'd be absolutely amazing as well. And as I said, going to be a little announcement video uh, this evening uh, for what's, uh, well, I'll talk about what's happening. Um, with the channel, you know, going uh, forwards. And uh, tomorrow, we're going to have 6 UK weather forecast. It'll be a 10 14 day as well, so keep checking back to the channel for more. This one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.